Welcome to another episode of Deconstructing the Home Show, and we are on our way to a new deal. Are we gonna buy it? Is it gonna make us money? Is it gonna ruin my business? I don't know, but we're gonna try and find out and not hit anybody in the same process. I'm breaking walls right now with doing illegal U-turns, and this guy's like, get out of the way. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is an interesting area. This is an area that is just getting started with the remodeling process. There's been much less work done in it, which usually I like those areas. And so far, I need some wood to knock on. It's kind of wood looking. <laughs> I've been good at making calls and not totally messing up on properties and areas that are just getting started. And when areas are just getting started, that's why there's a lot more meat on the bones, a lot less people are comfortable investing there. So if you're able to get the cojones to go in there, to start working, you can make mad money. And that's what we're looking at today. Okay, so we're here at the property. Um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what this property is because I'm still working on buying it if I wanna buy it. And I don't wanna draw too much attention to this area because it's a new area. But it's a good looking house. It's about 1648 square feet. It was divided into a duplex at one time. Um, but it's back to one meter, which I can see, which is a good thing. Um, nice front porch, put some columns on here. Um, but it's all about, again, what I can buy it for, how much the rehab's gonna cost me, and then how much I think I can push the value in a particular area. There was a home in this neighborhood that just sold for 140 a foot, and that was a massive jump from where this area had been, huge jump. So, uh, if I can get 140 a foot, I'm gonna make a ton of money. I don't know that I wanna base, off, base my investing off of the very highest cop in the neighborhood though. Okay, so we're here on the front porch. I like it overall. You know, real common stuff we see for homes in this area. This is a 19, I think 1930 or late 20s. So standard siding, it's in decent shape. These are giant, yeah, giant wood windows, which is really cool. Nice porch, get a great hanging light here. Um, no for the fun part. The part you all love the most. <laughs> Ah, this isn't even that scary. What a letdown. All right, some more nice wood windows. I think we got salvageable wood floors under here. They said the foundation's already been worked on. And this is another one. Gosh, I feel like this is a trend for me now. This is another home that investors started, got in over their head, and now they're trying to unload it to me. Okay, so salvageable flooring. Cool window seat, but that's just rotted the freak out. Oh, that's cool though. Took out the wood windows there. I hate when they do that. Decently high ceilings. Crappy little kitchen. No glass. What the heck is this? It's weird. So you got most of the original trim for the doors, which is nice. Okay, so we got a living, dining, kitchen. Okay, so we got a bedroom back here. Yeah, it's got the original trim. That's really nice. Love the paint. That would, of course, stay. Lime green and baby blue. And that would all y'all want? So there's probably wood floors under here. This is a weird 80s feeling. But what is the locker room? Look at the shower. I feel like I've just had running or swim practice. Blue tile. This is a great size bathroom, so I'm already thinking Jack and Jill, right? There's plenty of space here. If I get a bedroom on this side, bath in the middle, and yeah, here's another bedroom right back here. Move the closet, that looks like crap. Look at this, they just built the closet right under the trim of the window. Don't even care. Nice spider webs everywhere, that's exciting. More blue carpet, and then we got the pink room. So we got the green and baby blue. This is the dark blue and the pink. So this is the girls' room. I guess the boys' room. But yeah, you could easily do a Jack and Jill sort of deal here, or just have the or just have the bathroom right out the either door. That would work as well. Um, I like the corner wall. That's weird. Okay, so this is an addition now. So now we're in an addition. So you can see siding from the back of the house. Um, another electrical panel. And the ceilings drop here as well, and you can see daylight streaming in on this. But that was great when it was raining. Okay, and here's that weird closed, look at this trim. Look, I'm in the Polynesian Islands. <laughs> 
Yeah, this edition's jacked. Got some wood floors, decent shape, full closet. More wood floors, more wood floors, more wood floors. And a huge lot. Oh, we got a boat! Is it Lake Day, guys? Hmm. Well, I mean, I can already see a layout for this house. I can see two bedrooms in the front and then a whole master suite in this back here with a giant closet, double French doors off the master. You got access to your backyard. You can see it. It's real nice. We need to replace all these windows back here. These windows are super cheap trash windows. Um, but you got room for a big bedroom, you know, bathroom, and then I think this could be a closet. And potentially this could be like a secondary, um, yeah, like another dining area. So if I hope to open this up from the kitchen, make a galley style kitchen with this as a back, you know, another flex room. And then you already got a, a, a partial bathroom here. We'd obviously expand it. That's just, whew, I could fall right through right there. Um, little greenery. Any drugs? It's always some drugs. Cool. Well, it all comes down to what they're going to sell it for. You make your money on the buy of all these houses. It's all about the first number. You know, anything can be corrected. I think at least a fifty to sixty thousand dollar redo here to do it right. Well, the area support that. That's all just dependent on how much I can buy the house for. So, time to make them an offer. See what happens.